Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Shaylin Garcia, Family Resource Specialist with the Pueblo of Acoma Social Services. Today, I am here to show you um, a learning activity for kids, um, and it is going to be Math Bingo. So I know there's a game out there, but um, for those of us that don't have the game or um, just have supplies laying around the house. And so um, to, what I used for mine was I cut out cardboard and just to make it sturdy, the card's sturdy enough to play on and reuse and a ruler. So first off what I did was measure five inches across um, diagonally vertically. I did uh, measure five and a half and so once I measured my cardboard I can still have the I still have the jagged edges and so in order to cover that up what I did was I um got some colored paper it doesn't have to be colored paper but I got some and I put it across and glued it around the back just to kind of give it a nice smooth edge and from there I did put lines uh to make 25 boxes so five across five up and down and um once I did finish with that <clears throat> I numbered it like a bingo, just random numbers all the way to 24. I did put a free space in there, uh, just like a typical bingo card, and 1 through 24 is on here. And so once you have that completed, the next thing I did was um, use some index cards. And um, with the index cards, I did cut them in half. And um, with the index cards, I put math problems on there. So as this one indicates... 5 plus 3, <clears throat> and on the back is 10 minus 2. So they both equal 8, and so I can implement either subtraction, addition, or both within the game. And uh, once I did finish with that, I am able to then play my bingo. And so, of course, they are all going to be numbered. And so when you call this out, uh, 5 plus 3, and they're going to find the answer and put the marker on there and so a uh, typical way you're gonna get a bingo down across diagonal whatever it may be whatever game you want to implement um in here but um having them jot the answer or find the answer on here um for much older kids you're able to you know put harder math problems on here um something that'll help indicate the answer on your bingo card all right um that's all I use within this project. It was quick, it was easy, something that the kids were able to help me with um, as far as cutting out the cardboard, uh, cutting out the paper to put on here, gluing it on here, um, and really all that I was um, doing was putting the lines on here and numbered them. Um, some things to try at home and something to keep the kids busy. All right. Well, that's all I have for you today, and I hope you enjoy.